Ladies and gentlemen, the Shrug Game Nintendo.com video, we're going to be talking about the PlayStation 4 Neo, which is, of course, the upgraded PS4, which Sony have been rather hush hush about over the past few months, despite a myriad of leaks. A couple of websites are reporting, however, that Sony won't be hush hush for much longer. On September the 7th, there will be a special event which will be held in New York, and these uh, rumours first emerged from a website by the name of Game Blog, and then Vice Gaming confirmed these rumours from what it quotes to be multiple sources. Now, of course, these sources are anonymous because, well, they don't want to say that Bob at accounting said, hey, yeah, we're totally going to be holding this event. But one source, who, of course, was anonymous, has described the event as, and I quote, a technical showcase. What this means is, obviously, we're going to probably get a good idea of A, what the machine is physically capable of putting on screen, for example, the graphical effects, and we might also understand what developers are saying about the machine, perhaps what the differences between a vanilla version of the PS4 running the same game will be, and maybe we're also going to have an understanding, perhaps, of the pricing, what the machine is going to do for the PSVR, and... If we're really lucky, we're also going to get an understanding of the release schedule. Early reports were that the PS4K, PS4 Neo, PS4.5, you get the idea by now, would be released this side of Christmas, but obviously things could change. Maybe Sony have decided to put it back a little bit to coincide with a small upgrade for the um, Scorpio, or maybe they're just steaming straight ahead. We do have some information regarding the Neo's hardware, um, and this comes to us via some leaks which happened a while back, which Sony were providing these technical documents to developers, and they very much echo what the original leaks were, which were circulating around on Giant Bomb and various other websites. Essentially, it's a PS4, but on steroids. So, for example, the Jaguar CPU, which we found in the original model, was running at 1.6 gigahertz. It's now running at 2.1 gigahertz, which is about a 30% improvement. The GPU has the largest uh, upgrade by far. 18 CUs at 800 megahertz. Now it's using 36 at 911 megahertz, which is about uh, 2.3 times the raw T-flops. Uh, as putting it at about 4.2-ish, rounding it up. And the memory, same amount of memory, but they have made a few changes. They've increased the amount of memory bandwidth to 218 gigabytes per second, which is an increase of about 1.24 over the 176. There is some speculation from my part that they're going to be utilizing the Polaris architecture, which presumably would mean that we're also going to see some improvements to the efficiency of the rendering pipeline in the machine. For example, it has things such as the primitive discard accelerator, um, much better tessellation, and other bits and pieces, which essentially means that the GPU, for the same amount of performance, for the same amount of memory bandwidth, the same amount of shading power compared to the equivalent older architectures which we used in the original PS4, it can do a lot more work. So while we see the numbers in terms of T-flops be X or Y, it could be that in reality we see a slight improvement over that. Supposedly Sony have also increased the amount of memory available for the games. Uh, if it is running in Neo mode by 512 megabytes, which makes an awful lot of sense considering that we're presumably going to be dealing with higher resolution textures, better quality assets in general. We're probably not going to see better quality sound or maybe um, other bits and pieces, but let's say, for example, you're dealing with higher frame rates, larger draw distances, and whatever else, that presumably will mean that we're going to need more textures or what have you in memory, which, once again, presumably will mean that we're going to blow through that budget pretty quickly. I have to say that the memory amount, the quantity which is available, is kind of weird. I actually suspected it would be more than that. In fact, I originally speculated we might even see a 12 gigabytes for the... Uh, Neo, but that's not to be. 
So we're going to see for 5.5, uh, which hopefully should be enough. There will be a few other changes as well. Um, Sony, at least in the documents that we saw, are considering putting in 1080p recording, which might be nice. Um, and the rumors of prototype hardware, in other words, development kits, would be that they're going to ask for the returns at the start of 2017. So let's say that you work at Ubisoft for this video. You now are working in Ubisoft. You might work at Ubisoft, I don't know who's watching this video. But let's say that you worked at Ubisoft producing a new Assassin's Creed game. You poor man, or lady. And you were creating the title. You would be given a development kit, of course, to basically work your magic on. Well, these development kits at the moment are pretty early, and mass-produced units will be eventually um, available prior to the prototype returns. Now, supposedly, the release window for the prototype, um, the mass-produced prototype units, actually coincides with September the 7th. So, presumably, this actually ties in rather nicely with the rumours, once again, assuming it's pretty realistic. I just want to go over a couple of other bits and pieces uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar with the NEO or hasn't kept up with our technical videos I do want to put out a technical video regarding the NEO but I've been a bit reluctant because my workload has been so damn high and there's also been an awful lot of information that's been popping up um, with the NX and a few of the other consoles and frankly it's really hard to put something really technical together when we've got no well confirmed details other than a lot of rumors but what we do know about the neo is that sony ideally do not want you to be running a 1080p resolution they actually want you to go a higher resolution for the neo and you also cannot have a lower frame rate so let's for the sake of argument say that you go with uh, 60 fps 900p on the vanilla system you can't then decide to go 30 FPS 4K with the Neo. They will not permit that. That will not uh, pass muster. And they've also said that in their own experiences, low resolutions, which they consider to be uh, 1440p, on a 4K television is not sufficient. Uh, and they suggest things such as checkerboard rendering and other such technology to improve the quality of the rendered image closer to 2160p. I... I'm curious how this works in reality with developers. Um, I would not be surprised if a lot of developers just simply summarily ignore this because the GPU performance is not high enough for them to really push the 4K. But with checkerboard rendering, it's possible, especially if they're going for like 1800p, 1600p or whatever, they could possibly do that. Um, but really, I imagine it's going to come down to, uh, to developers and what they're able to achieve with the game and also, of course, what they're trying to ask the system to do based upon the game. Now, a rather interesting little footnote, and this is something I did tackle in a previous video, but I just want to remind people who missed it. The PS4 actually did appear, or at least an unspecified model of a PS4, did appear on Amazon for a very brief period of time and it if memory serves I'm not looking at the image but if memory serves I think it was Spanish but anyway um, the website had a pricing in euros I believe it was 400 bucks 400 euros and it did have a release date of the 13th of October 2016 which would coincide nicely, I guess, with this, but it also wouldn't really leave much time between the announcement and the release date. So your guess is as good as mine whether this is really going to happen or whether they're going to push it back some. For example, they might decide once again to go later on, let's say November, December, or hell, they may decide to go for January or February uh, next year. We just don't know. But with all of that said, hopefully you have enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.